Hi everyone, welcome back. Nice to see you again. In this video, I would like to show you how can we set up the Postgre database by using the Docker. Okay, let's start. At first, we need to check the Docker image. Okay, we have no image in here. And after that, we will use the docker to put the page pg admin 4 the pg admin 4 is the layout that we will connect to the Postgre database and after that we will uh, connect to our database using this and we can manipulate our database like insert create update or something like that Okay. Sorry, wrong. Wait for why? Okay, done. Okay, and right now we can run this one. We can run this image by using the Docker run. Port. I would like to use the port eighty. And after that, we can use the PC admin. Emails, uh, the user login. And PC admin default. As well, we can choose anything. I choose the secret. Okay. Sorry, we need here. Okay. And after that, you can run the the DG page. Slot BZ as mean for. Okay, after that, it's running. You can check this one. Here. Okay. Right now, you can run to local heart. Okay, that's good. And after that, you can log in to user domain. And your password. Okay, right now we don't have any server to connect. And after that, we will pull down the Docker for Postgre.
place y Okay, done, and after that we can check the image. Okay, this one. And now you can run this email also. I would like to name in the Docker container for this. Uh, I can say Docker busy, busy Docker, and here. I would like to set the user for the database and I can say uh, look like a DB uh, I say user one okay and pass three password and also I would like to use the user one okay uh, okay, and our DB we can set for three. We can set the DB default for us, and I can set the user one. Okay, and after that, I will run this one with port. I four three two okay and run the pause three okay okay that is running you can check the container here yeah okay and right now we will connect to this one we will connect to our database here by using this one. Okay, create server. And after that, you can say it's a busy docker. The connection will, this is, we have to use our IP address, our machine IP address. Okay, one, my machine is here okay and the user is one and the user is one okay you can connect to your db also okay. and save okay that's fine Right now you can see your DB. Okay. And our camera in here. Right now we can check it by create a new table and after that insert some database into. Okay, create the table and check it. Okay, I testing table. Okay. I can rewrite this one. Okay, we can make everything is default. After that, I add here, look like the ID, and I will choose the, okay, this one is primary key, and the order is uh, name. And we can see the text. Okay, and after that, we can Save. Okay, right now we re, uh, make the ID automatic enrichment ID as the default for the uh, primary key so that we don't need to insert any value to this column. Okay, and you select here in re one every time we insert in the data into the, this table it will automatically call it to increase the value by one okay 
this one you don't need to do anything and save okay after that you can see here if I connect by testing table run it nothing right okay right now let's try to insert some data into this table insert into testing table and uh, sorry in here you can see the name Okay, I can write down hello world. Okay, let's run. Ah, it's good. And I try another record here and run. Okay, that's good. Right now, if we try to uh, select Ah, oh, that's right. Everything look good. Everything really look good. Okay. Okay. Thanks for watching. See you.